New Year everybody. Welcome back. Um, it's been a while. I hope everybody's had a really nice holiday season and ready to take on 2019. I am. Um, <clears throat> it's been 2018 was a really busy year for me so I just finally took about three weeks off and just you know, refocused on what I want to try to achieve in 2019, so that's why I haven't been on here. So, anyways, back to it. So, today I've got a design team uh, project for Seneca Pond Crafts. Um, this isn't a journal kit, but I wanted to showcase um, Eileen's um, products. She's got some beautiful digital downloads. <clears throat> She's got um, it's just various. I've got some book covers, um, and I'll just show you throughout. Um, but I, I told Eileen I'd I'd really like to just to do a, a mix into a journal, and she was happy for me to do that. So here we are today. Um, sorry, I'm not that prepared. So <laughs> um, this is a five and a half by seven and a half journal, and the spine is about a one inch. Um, and this is, um, I've just taken some Tim Holtz paper um, and put it onto, this is made out of a manila <coughs> file folder. And then this is um, one of the book covers from Eileen's shop. And so then I just downsized it and then come back and layered that over some um, various trims and then attach the little book plate and then cut out this diary. Um, it's a five hole pamphlet stitch. There's two signatures. Uh, right off hand, I'm sorry, I don't I started this back in December so, so I don't I don't remember how many pages are in it, but if you are interested in it, the link will be below. So I've kept it fairly simple um, because I wanted this just to be um, a very plain um, writing journal. So you've, I've got a pocket on the front here and this is one of the um, digital downloads Eileen has and I'm going to place all the links to the products I've used in here from her shop and this is one of them and I just love it. So it's been stitched in there. Um, this is some of the papers from her shop. Um, you'll see those throughout the journal. And then, you know, like this is just some scrapbook paper. I'm trying to, as you guys know, clear out my stash. So I thought that went well. Now these are little library cards from the shop. And I love those. Absolutely gorgeous. So that's tucked in there. We've got various pages. This is just a little um, clear front glassine bag pocket there. I've put some fabric tabs throughout the journal. This is more of uh, the papers. She does have a um, paper kit link, you know, and I'll link that below so you guys can see that. Um, this mason jar, that's from the shop. Love those. Absolutely gorgeous. And then I've just included another little, um, this is like a, a textured, um, wallpaper um, tag I've cut out. This I've just stitched some vintage book page to another sheet on there. And this is just various, um, this isn't from the shop, this was just various stuff I had that I thought I'd try to use up. This is a handmade um, paper envelope, so it's nice and thick, so you can tuck some little things in there. And this is another sheet from the um, the book page that she's got. I love that. <clears throat> now this little postcard, that's that's another kit that you can purchase from Eileen. Love it. And I've just put some various book pages and things from the stash. This is some Edith Holden. Um, this is another of the little library cards. They are just so sweet. And then here I just made a little <clears throat> dictionary page pocket, and then I've added uh, a quote from an Edith Holden book. Um, love these. These are a little button uh, journaling card that you can get from Seneca Pond. Those are so sweet. It's 
so yeah, I'm having a, I'm kind of struggling to get back into uh, creating. So I thought, well, I'll just go ahead and give myself kind of the week to ease myself back into it. So I was glad to, to have finished this at least. Um, here's just a little flip up. This is just something off the internet I printed out. This is one of her pages. I love that. Love that. That's the center of the signature. Uh, just really old children's book page there. And this is another one of the little button um, journaling cards. I love that. So yeah, it's uh, it's going to take me a couple of days, I think, to get back into the groove of things. I, it, I just really have enjoyed my time off. I can't remember the last time that I've just taken time off to do nothing. I uh, did some walking with the dog and of course we had family around for um, for Christmas and and then New Year's New Year's Eve we just went out for a, a really nice drive and a walk so that was nice to do and it's just I really think my brain needed a break from everything and this is <clears throat> this comes in that mason jar kit that she's got I love those there's just so much detail to them And this is another of the pages. I hope you can see. It's just really pretty papers. This is another. <coughs> this is the um, the front cover. I've just <coughs> excuse me downsized that and made a little journaling card out of that. So yeah, um, I guess like everybody, you know, I'm setting some goals for myself this year. I mean, one thing I really, really, really want to try to do, and I say this every year, but you got to keep hoping. Um, I do want to get into working more in my own journal um, because I've just put that on the back burner for so long. <clears throat> this is another of the little button cards. I love those. Um, this just a, uh, I don't know, some kind of scrapbooking paper. I turned that into a journal card there. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try to spend, now whether I document that, I don't know, because I'm not that confident on how, I mean, my, my journaling is not, you know, some people you see on YouTube and their journal pages are just fabulous uh, layouts. I'm not to that point yet. Um, I'm just purely trying to document things, memories, you know, um, and then thoughts, obviously, trying to clear your brain when, when you're in overload. But um, So, the, yeah, they're not really that pretty to, to actually do a, a process video. But who knows, maybe over the next couple of months I'll get better with that. Because um, goodness knows I've got enough stuff I need to start using. I've bought uh, lots of stuff for paints and... <clears throat> markers and things, so I want to start using those. This is another of the postcards. <clears throat> They're so pretty. So yeah, um, as far as crafting, that's that is definitely a goal I've got this year is is to actually just start working in my own journaling uh, journals and. Um, I kind of I think I want to get back into making more cards. I've missed doing that, um, and then I think some small journals. I I I enjoy that more, and and it's I want to get back to things that I'm really enjoying. And these small journals, I just love making them. I think they're they're just so much fun to do. Um, this is another of her page pages and then this is just a little tag I've stuck in and then this is just a little floating pocket that I've tucked in with some various images from the internet. A little ticket. This ticket's from the Papered Soul. I won her giveaway and uh, that was one of the things I chose because I don't have many tickets so I, was, I love those. They add a nice bit of color to your journal. As you can see, I mean, I haven't done a lot in this as far as embellishing it because I just, uh, I just wanted it to be for a blank canvas for somebody else to do. Uh, another of the little button journal cards.
Gosh, I must have had some glue ooze out on some of these pockets. And that's one of the uh, library cards. I love those. So yeah, I'm going to spend some time. I want to get some uh, pockets and tags made up. And I'm going to start to try to work more in, in batches of things. I think it would be a better use of my time that way. This is another just a uh, vintage flower page I've just sewn on there. Another of the library cards. You can see that. Oh, this is another of the little button cards. I love those. Now where did I get it from? <laughs> it's funny. You can just um, be away from your routine for a short time and it's like you have to rethink everything over again because even this isn't coming as natural to me. This is another of the pages. So yeah, I got a feeling it's going to be a slow start to 2019 for me. But yeah, another thing I've started um, and you know, if anybody is doing this and you have any advice I'd appreciate it. I've started intermittent uh, fasting and the keto diet. Um, so yeah that, I've been on it for about a week now and so far I'm doing okay with it. This is another pocket on the back. This is out of one of those she's got these collaged um, images that, and I just love that. I think it's so pretty. Um, so yeah I'm, I'm on that as well. So Lots of um, lots of things going on, you know. Want to make 2019 a really, really good year, um, and just start um, ticking off some of the goals I've set for myself. So that's where I'm at, guys. And um, gosh, sorry about the video. I feel like I'm just really still in a bit of a fog. So. Um, but I hope I, I was able to show you, you know, everything I wanted to. Because uh, Seneca pond has got just, she's just got gorgeous things. So do check out her shop. And um, this little journal is going to be for sale in my shop. So if you're interested, I'll leave the link below for that. But uh, mostly, yeah, I just wanted to come back and say hi to everybody. I've had a lot of new subscribers, so welcome. Um, I appreciate you guys. Um, taking the time to, to watch and um, and leave comments. I really do appreciate it. It, it means a lot. So, um, Anyways, I really, really hope 2019 is going to be a great year for everybody. Um, and I'm just encouraging everybody out there to, you know, s set some goals for yourself. And let's all just really encourage each other to try to um, to make it the best year yet. So I will see you guys very soon, and um, thanks for stopping by. Bye-bye.